good day everybody welcome back to the studio hope everyone's doing well and I have another another old painting that I want to fix because I I really like it I loved it before because it was really nice and white and blue but this is what happens when you use um, when you use a resin that is not the right resin it's not uh, doesn't have a really good UV or resistance and um, you're using putting it over just any acrylic paint because this was an acrylic pour and obviously my white yellowed so not happy about that now I did this many many years ago so um, I didn't know I was learning so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have an idea and I can tell you about it while I am um, drawing this just a, a really rough outline of this because I want to cut this and then stick it on there where's my scissors gone here they are right in front of me so while I'm cutting this I'll tell you I want to do I want to preserve the, the middle that's why I'm cutting this I'm gonna go on the inside because just in case the resin comes on top of this um, uh, permanent marker, it uh, it'll bleed, and I don't want any dark colour on that white. So just a rough outline, and then I'm going to get some. Uh, marking liquid which is down here and I just put my glove on because I just use my finger to apply I'm going to just apply it to, to sort of stick this on for the time being oh I didn't do a good job of this did I because I don't want any leakage to happen is this supposed to go that way uh-huh okay that's how it goes all right so over here I want to get some dark paste and I've got some copper and some gold which I'm going to mix together. The copper and the gold are, are powder pigments and then I want to blow it in that way. So that's why I need to protect this. Okay, so I'm just going to put, see it turns into rubber. So you got to kind of get rid of that so I'm just going to put a little bit in in this little cup because oh I'm way out of there I don't know why I always do that uh, because I wanted to put my lid on very quickly and not dry it up so I need to know that this is going to be this way so I might even just keep it there and just go like this it's not gonna damage anything but it's it's gonna be great because going to stop all right so that's how I need it to go like that and once it glues it'll protect it'll stick this to that well that's the idea anyway we'll see we will see won't we so I'll just keep going like that around and hopefully it'll work Okay, so here we go. Uh, we're back. Um, you can actually see that that has hardened and there's still parts, white parts inside that um, there's no air in there. So um, they can't, it's not not drying, but as long as my edge here is fine. So I've got my resin already mixed. Let me just get a paper towel to be sure, to be sure not to make a terrible mess. And I've got some cups, obviously, so I keep changing my mind about what I want to do with this. And I know I said I was going to do that, but I think I'm just going to go with a geode because it just looks like, not that you can see a lot, it just looks like a bit of a geode shape. And then I'll have to do another piece because I really want to see, I've even got my 
airbrush ready uh, because I want it to, to blow it uh, and not use the heat gun because you know I don't have the proper attachment to be like pointy but the the um, airbrush gets quite cold and it can really seize up your resin so you've got to be careful unless that's the effect you're going for so anyway decided to go with a completely different different uh, thing as I do I'm just thinking I don't know if uh, if it's going to look like anything if I just you know do what I said I said I was going to do and sometimes it's good when you have to sort of move away and uh, wait for something to dry and then you're thinking oh I'm so glad that I didn't jump in and do that because I don't think it would have worked so I'm going to put you on the side here I need my stirring stick and here we go so i have got our copper pigment so just want a little bit of that i only maybe have about 20 milliliters in these cups maybe 25 so a little bit of copper in there and now i'm going to mix that and then i'm going to add some gold to it and i've got some bronze i just want to have it a bit brown so maybe not so much of that, maybe just about that much. Uh, I've got my white. This is the pure white. This is a new Lorez white color. And I've got quite a bit of white in there, so I'm going to go in quite, with quite a bit of white. Which is great, because you can mix white with another color and, and create, um, create a, a different tone if you need it so I don't mind having extra white I will stir that always you know give it a good stir that's just for the sake of time I'm rushing through these let me stir these off camera okay so here's my copper it's really bright and really pretty I'm going to mix that with a little bit of my um, bronze here just a tiny little bit I could put the powder directly in here but I think it's it's better to do it this way oh here we go wow oh my goodness that's interesting color oh wow yes that is nice it's just like a chocolatey that's nice I do like that I don't even think it's matching anything but I like the color and in here I want to add tiny little bit of gold this is the bright gold so I'm just going to go in should I just do the gold I'll just pop it in I've got some resin left I could go and uh, mix gold as well you can't really see a difference when you do it this way and it's really hard so it's better to mix it in with resin and then mix it in with another color okay so I've decided to mix up the which is what I should have done straight away gold in with a tiny little bit of, of resin in this little cup this cup has and quite a bit of gold this cup only has about what what, what is this this is a medicine cup what is it about 30 milliliters not even 25 milliliters so it's probably only about 15 milliliters of this I'm going to give that a good stir so it's no lumps at all okay now that we're done now I'm going to be pouring this right in here and it should be a nice deal. I don't have to do the whole thing and god I'm good at making a mess aren't I that's one thing I know for sure I am good at. That's all right. I'm good at cleaning things up too. <laughs> all right. So here we go. Give that. A, oh, yeah. That just toned that copper down so beautifully. And it's still a copper, but it's more of a golden copper, like a cinnamon color. And I do have uh, a cinnamon 
uh, powder, but mica powder that is, <laughs> not a real cinnamon. <laughs> um, but, oh yeah, that is so pretty. Yep, excellent. So I'm going to do that. And I might even put a little bit of this gold in with this mixture of the bronze. Oh, that is so nice. Just a, I'm just going to put like three drops in there just to see the change. It will tone it down. It is amazing how these um, colors change. Of course, brown's got purple in it. Even though it's a powder, you can sort of see just a hint of that purple, which is, once you stir it all in, it just turns into like a, like a chocolate, a golden chocolate. All right, let's go. So I've got a few colors now. Move everything out of the way. I've got my mold. I'll get this done. So I'm just going to go around. I think I'm going to continue with the white here. Um, I might even start from the outside and go in. There is no, um, no resin on here. What's going on down here? All right. Um. Let us see. I might go with a brown around. So I'm just going to be going around and around and I won't be... Oh, I don't know, guys. Just be patient with me. I don't even know myself. I'm sad to see these beautiful wispy guys go. And I might actually leave that grey there. I don't know. Let's see. down there stay up here that thing goodness gracious let me put my dragonfly mold under there you can do that oh and it's leaking here as well golly okay I had to put a couple of molds everywhere and I'll probably get some more leaks and there's another one here um, oh, because this is just so you know pulling out that way but that's all right and it's so wet still that's uh, the thing about this resin um, it is quite a runny resin so maybe I should let it sit a little bit actually I might just do that and yeah because i'm not happy with that and you you have a right not to be happy with something if it's not working out and you can always scrape it back off and let it um let it you know do its thing and start curing and uh i don't know if i will do that but i just hate losing all this precious resin so i might just pick all that up I do have my trusty spatch here, so that's what I'm going to do, go straight in there. Actually easier on this side, so I'll just do it on this side here. And I'd rather lose a little bit, and I can pick it up from the bottom as well. So that's what I'm doing. There, that didn't take long, did it? Not long at all. So we're going to let it sit for about at least maybe even half an hour in cups. And it's nice and warm in the studio, so it's uh, it's going to stay like that. But uh, yeah, I'm happy that I did that. And now I can just wipe it. 
get my alcohol. Okay, so we're back. It's been for well, about 40 minutes and the resin is still pretty loose. So we will not worry about it too much because I've decided to tape the uh, the, the, the edges. Uh, okay, so let's start. I'm going to go in with some of this. And I'm just going to pour it around the edge here. Maybe not as close as the edge, but I'm going to try and do a nice stream. Not a drizzle, not one of those jiggly things. And I'm just going to overlap. Um, I actually don't mind that there, and I might actually even throw some clear over. If you want to be really pedantic, you could get a pipette or a syringe or something, or a piping bag even, but to me, I'm just going to go... And I know that I'm going to change all of this once I start applying heat. It's all going to change, baby. But I don't mind these little little areas that are showing the painting underneath it. I'm waiting it for to, to settle a little bit and I'm just going around and picking up some of these drips and putting them in my mold. What I'm doing, letting it settle a little bit. It's gone bonkers on me. I think it's too warm and the resin is too soft. Okay, I am going to go around and add some more of this gold because I think this gold really complements it. I'm pretty much just following this copper. I don't think this is going to end up being a geo, I'll tell you that. I can tell you that, but it might be something interesting because resin, as you know, has a mind of its own and has the ability and the capability to create something amazing out of itself all on its own. So sometimes it, it looks like a mess but it turns into something really spectacular. So let's see what happens here with this one. Okay, well that is definitely different, isn't it? And the, the middle, I hope the middle is, doesn't get lost in all of this. But I will blend it a little bit to make it a little bit more subtle. Um, might just go in a little bit with my, my bronze here. Do the same sort of thing, just go around and follow that. I think I need a darker pigment here. That's what I think I need. I need something to kind of bring it up. But let's let's introduce some heat and then we'll see what happens. 
Um, I'll just clean my hands before I get my heat gun. Okay, so that actually, I don't mind that. I'm going to try um, a hair dryer because I want more force. I had to move the camera. <laughs> I don't know what you saw there. Um, but yeah, I don't mind that now. I'm going to go in from this handle again. I know it's pushing everything out of the way, but that's all right. I'm, I'm, I care more about having a nice piece at the end of it. And I like that wispiness there. I, oh my God, the, the front, the middle is going to be so different. It's going to be so different. Nice and wispy, actually. That looks so interesting. Got lots of cells happening in some areas. So that worked out well. Not bad at all. Not bad. I'm going to go around with this guy here. Ah, uh, that's right. I'm going to make him a little bit darker. But before I do that, I'm going to go and collect some more of these. I knew that was going to happen, you guys, because... I introduced some more heat, but I'm going to have a really nice pink, pinkish um, trinket bowl or trinket um, dish out of it. So, see how loose that is. How interesting. That's why I prefer working with thicker resin. But I don't have any at the moment. I need to get some. So. <sighs> That's what happens. Alright, let me clean up a bit. Okay. So this is going to be interesting. I'm just going to put a drop of uh, lapis lazuli. Oh, two drops went in there. Into my bronze mixed with some copper. Let's see what colour I get. Should make it a deeper deeper bronze oh wow that is really good i like i'm gonna get some more in there i've put three drops in there so five all up i want it dark so it's turning in into wow that's interesting like a really dark dark brown with a hint of blue <laughs> all right okay i do have blue there but i can't make blue out of this see i flipped it around because this side was going nuts it's back here now hang on yeah it's flipped around now so i want it some more on there i'm going to see if i can very gently Let's get my little smaller tool just to kind of just like lift it up a little bit. Go around the edge. I'm dragging some hair. All right, that'll do there. That'll do there. Might do the corners because this corner definitely needs some. I'm just going to pour it in the corner just like that and then maybe do a couple of rings. Um, okay, who would have thought I was going to take such an effort? You just don't know, do you? Okay, that worked out well. That worked out well. I might even put a little drizzle here, right in the corner, let that push, which is going to create a dark ring. And that worked well. I'm going to do the same thing here in every corner. That's a really good idea. Just that, and then in here. 
and then if I'm brave I might even try it somewhere else but let's see if I can just grab these leftover bits and just go like that should create a ring of sorts and yes it is slightly different to that one over there but nonetheless oh stay there everything is moving gosh i don't like making a mess for all you newbies out there if you're going to tackle something like this be prepared for the mess but one good thing is once it's all set you can just throw your plastic away as long as you clean all your tools there's a good thing good thing to clean as you go okay now that's pretty good not bad at all I've not got any white left Now all the grey is coming out of there. I can't use that. Let's see if I can come here and get some of these drips. So yeah, this is that's a canvas for you you know especially a thin framed canvas like this it warps this is so thin here and all the corners are saturated so but yeah I chose this before like I said didn't know but I'm just gonna go with it now I'm gonna give it some more heat Now that is going to move and do its thing. However, I do want to do some swipes here. I can even do it with my finger. Just to make sure that that is kind of blended a bit better. And maybe, oh nice cells. And maybe just go around with some more of this grey that I created just to do some more lines. Not many, just a few that I feel I need to embellish and hopefully they won't move too much. So it's straight away it's it's making it better isn't it it's not a lot coming on there but it is quite a dark color gosh I better check that I'm recording I am that's a good thing sometimes I forget now if that didn't move it would be perfect for me but I think it will move slowly I don't want to do too much to it. It needs a torch because I got some bubbles there. Tell you what, it's going to be interesting. It's going to need another coat anyway because once I lift this, 
Uh, that will be a raisin. You'll get that sharp edge there. Um, I, ha I do need to get... Where's my little pokey thingy? Um, pretty sure I saw a hair there. Yep. Oh, it's not a hair. It's a bit of piece of something. Okay, got it. Alright, so now I'm just going to go around and pick up some more of these drips. I'm, I've nearly filled up my my um my mold here, so I'm going to get some of this grey now Put on top. Right, wow, okay, this is interesting. I'm going to leave it now, leave it alone, let it sit, let it do its thing, and then uh, we're going to come back and dig this out. We'll have to dig a little bit. No, oh, it's not going to be too bad. And then pull it out and then uh, put another coat over the point. But I don't mind the subtle, subtleness of it all. I just would like to have maybe a swipe here. Is that there to me? It's just a bit too much, too too wispy. This is what I can do. Will that work or not? Who knows? I might just dip my. That's nice. That is nice. I like that. It just looks like I don't know, a bit bit of a marble effect. That definitely looks like a marble right there. That really created that marble effect just there. It just picks it up and drags it. And there. Oh no, a bit like that. Just like a chop. Just like a chop. I've, I used to do this before. I was really into it. I used to call it chop method. You just chop it and carry it each time you pick up some that it does it create like a stone kind of effect all righty i think i'm done i'm all, I'm all chopped out now I think I've had, you know, I could keep playing with this. Seriously, I could see 
ways and movements uh, to go and do that. But I really need to see how the middle will look now after all of this. And I really need to clean up. That's what I need to do. Ah, uh, my poor dragonfly. See if I can fill him up with some of these goodies. And then, yeah, I uh, will be back tomorrow because this is going to take a long time to set up. See what I mean? Can't bloody help myself. But you got to do what you got to do. No matter how long it takes. You know, traditional art takes forever to finish. You know, if you're doing a portrait or doing a, a landscape or something like that. Although, landscapes you can sort of do pretty fast. Or you can get really into detailing. And then it'll, it'll take a, a while. I love that there. So interesting I just realized that I've got a, a leak I had a little hole here and it's leaking and I'm going to try and lift it to see if I can clean it and hopefully there shouldn't be a lot of movement now Okay, so can you see what I'm doing? So there's that where that leak was. So the tape is coming off. It's pulling some of the masking liquid with it. Oh, this is great. I can have a good look. Yeah, see, it's pretty messy here, but that's all right. I can, all right, so she's up, and this one I can just sort of scratch it a little bit, and it's coming off. See that? I'm just being careful not to, but it, it doesn't really matter if I get anything off of my, my hands and like, like, I don't know, hair or dust or something. And it falls in because I'm going to put another coat of resin over it. But now I can actually go and clean that bit. It's good stuff. Great stuff, actually. All right, so it looks completely different. I don't even think if it's complementing. What I can do is I'll, I can wait... Probably a few hours for this to finally start to get a bit tacky. Now I just pour in some clear resin right in the middle and hopefully it'll create some some waves or some ripples in this. But uh, I don't mind that at all. I just think the colours are not working together. Although I do have some of that in there but none of it here. I was like a scrape some in some areas. Yeah, I can come around and scrape some of that. I'll, I'm going to try and do that. I'm just trying to save this piece. That's all I'm trying to do. All right. So what did I say? I was going to scrape some off. Oh, gosh. Good luck. Good luck to me. Um, let's see. Was it even yellow here? Let's see. Kind of greenish. I might be able to. I might be able to do something just so that I can extend this out. Might have to zoom you in when I'm doing my editing. This is exciting. Look at that. It's working, you guys. As long as it don't make it too much of a, you know, line. As long as it starts collapsing down a little bit, it'll be all right.
All right, that's working. Actually, that is working good. I'm just now just using my nail so it's not as thick. Oh, I think that's working. I think that's working. And if I don't like that design underneath there, because it's this is more subtler than this, I can always um, fill it in with a colour. All right, now that's looking pretty jazzy. However, I will just tap, tappy tap a little bit, just to make it a little bit more natural. Nice, nice and nice. Um, maybe even here a little bit. But I think I've got that dark color there, but that's all right. Wow, that's looking pretty cool. So that's going to kind of fall in a bit. Quite um, three dimensional now. Oh my god, I just got an idea for a painting. Ooh. Love it when that happens. It's going to add a look. I've got my, my cup is totally empty, but I've got enough to draw a little bit of something in here because I think I need to add some more of this dark color in here and try to include this. I can always wipe it off if it doesn't look good, but I think I just I think it needs something in there. It's not a lot. I mean, it's just tiny bits going in there, but it is kind of adding the same sort of color, even just like a couple of drops like that. It works. Even if I just do that. Just to kind of change that color a little bit just sort of mess it up a little bit that's what i'm doing i might just stick my finger in there i think it'll be better i'll just do that oh gosh not a lot in there it's a little bit don't have any more don't think I can scrape up anymore and I think I just want to leave it and let it do its thing and then we'll we'll see won't we we shall see
Right, okay. Okay. <laughs> I think yeah, it looks very, very interesting. I think. I really like it. But I do want to do a marble painting now. Just like that. Using those same kind of colours. So I'll see how we go. Bye for now. Please watch part two, the next video, to see the progression of this piece. Thanks for watching so far. Bye.